It was the coolest shit ever, dude. So many moving parts, though. So much shit to break. <laughs> Yo, all right, so 100% stock. If you already know these cars, you can guess what it is, but let me just give you the quick rundown. It's 2007 E92 BMW. 335i and yeah it's a six speed manual thing has been kept in ultra good condition for its age the paint is really good wheels solid not a lot of chips it's got continentals which are all right but they're pretty new again paint real solid Dude, he did the little lenses right here. That's cool of me, I guess. He's got the, the floor mats. He put a steering wheel cover because he said he started to scratch the top. So he didn't want to continue. He coded in Bluetooth. Um, he coded it in where you can watch movies while still driving. He coded it in where the top can drop while you're going 45 miles an hour or less. He coated in the mirrors with the lock. He coated in if you hold the unlock, it pulls the top down. He coated in a shitload. The adaptive headlights even broke, he said, and they stopped adapting, I guess. And he fixed that, wired it, coated it back up. Everything works perfectly. Dude was not too much older than me. And he kept it 100% stock. I had it taken to a, a pre-purchase inspection. And I really trust the shop that did it. And he told me there was no leaks. Nothing wrong with turbo right now. Transmission good. Clutch good. Thing drives perfect. Recent inspection. I mean. Look, M Sport. I don't know if. I, he probably did that. Y'all let me know. Never had an E92. I know there's a lot of mods for these things. A lot of cosmetic. I want to do a different little shift already. You know, I want to get a different steering wheel, maybe like an M Sport one. But yeah, and this thing sounds good. Stock, he also took the little vacuum line. He was telling me about how the exhaust has like a vacuum line where it's valved. He undid that, so it's always open. Sounds really good. really well and it's the same color as my dad's z4 which is kind of cool when well, he's got that on there so that i don't bang his door because he thinks i'm gonna bang it but yeah 100 percent stock he never modified it ever i love this thing E92s just have like the best bodies to me, dude. Always dug these things. I wonder if this guy's gonna mess with me or not. That's cute. But yeah, anyway, so. Dude, and then the stock right height. Holy shit. I mean, like. Obviously, yeah, I'm not like that. I mean, do two fingers max when it's turned. But back, that's one finger, dude. You're not getting two in there. You're getting one. And I just think that's so clean. And most of the time, the people have these that have automatic, which is nothing wrong. I was looking for one with DCT, like one of the ISs. 
my friend has a 135 it's automatic and they all rip you know what i mean but this is just so clean because it's a manual need an m sport steering wheel need an m sport shifter i want i want a little duck bill i need the windows tinted a little bit because you know it's texas yeah texas car spent a year in florida during its life service records before that show all bmw work done at the dealership and then like i said previous owner did everything in terms of preventative maintenance that you can even think of only thing that's on this hood that might still break would be the stock turbos which shops that are fine transmission and stock clutch which have a lot of life left in it Yeah, I'm pretty much in love with this car, y'all. Hundred percent stock. Still has the freaking cowl, and I'm not doing a cold air. Don't even worry. This thing's gonna. This thing's gonna stay stock for a little bit. Um, I'm definitely gonna do bolt-ons, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if I'm gonna be tuning it yet simply because I can't even handle the 300 horsepower that it has right now, which if you know BMWs, this thing's rated at 300 crank horsepower, which really means 300 to the wheels, which really means closer to three something to the crank, you know, this thing's powerful, but, but yeah, so, this is my journey so far, let's see what we can get into, um, Chill up here. I wonder if it'll stay up here. Let's see how long that lasts. Oh, hey, Y'all hear that? Look, I'll give you a little. Got some burbles too. Y'all, I'm in love with this car, you don't understand. Oh, I gotta go back over here though, because cannot hit those potholes in this thing. Still getting better at choosing which gear to go into. I've never had more fun driving a car. I'm so serious. Let's see if we can't go a little bit on the highway maybe. It gets real loud and windy with the freaking drop top, which it's cool when like I said no one's there, but if I'm trying to take a video, it might be kind of a bitch. <laughs> 